Jennifer, están Dimitri, mis socios. Hola. Hola. Así que, dímelo, ¿qué es lo que no te gusta de mí? La intención no was not to be controversial in the first place. It was really to make a, a strong proposition of, of cinema and to go really clearly in one direction and So I think, in a way, it's it's good that people react to it because um, I think for those kind of movie, it really has to create something with the audience in the way in the way you receive it. So it was not the intention, but I think the movie in itself uh, couldn't be uh, called or couldn't be like nothing happened. So yeah, I think it's uh, kind of logical in a way. <laughs> When you make a movie, you, I think you you think to the how it's going to be received, but you never know uh, you never know how the audience is going to receive it, and it's a, really the first discovery because you've seen you you movie like hundred times to make it, and you don't have the distance anymore to know how it's going to be received. So having the audience. For the first public screening, reacting to it, it's a very special moment when you, okay, you see that the intention you put in the movie are really connecting with the audience, and it's yeah, very strong thing to to live and and basically, I think the audience received it in the way I intended to have the the scenes. Uh, or the moment of violence, or the moment of surprise, and and yeah, the audience reacted well to that so far. So that was good. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was very very tough shooting. We basically we didn't have much time, we didn't have much money, and I wanted to make the best film possible, and it was. Um, Um, a movie where everybody had to be like 200 percent committed. So all the technical crew and all the actors had to be really in a relationship of trust and of really coming here for the good reasons because they wanted the movie to be made and they loved the movie because basically it was very tiring, very intense, very physical. So. And when you get not much sleep, when it's hot, when it's cold, when there is all the elements that part of you leave it with the with the movie as well, you really need to have a very uh, close team that will support you no matter what, even if there is conflict, even if there is tension, even, and that's what happened. Everybody loved the movie and wanted to go through it, but it was. Yeah, it was rough. It was um, physically, and in a way, I knew we had to to be in this kind of situation to get the energy on screen. It couldn't be too comfy, too with too many uh, like rest area or trailers, and we had to be in it in a way. So I think you can sense it in a way on screen as a result. Yeah, basically the 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 transformation of the character is really the basis of the movie. Like the first idea, even before wanted to make a revenge movie, was this idea of this character, of somebody, a girl who would be seen at the beginning as very weak and very fragile, and would transform into somebody very strong and very powerful. And it was really this duality that interested me in the first place because it's also very much related to 
perception, how people can see you, can judge you, how you can feel with yourself depending on those uh, looks upon you and on those judgments. So I, I think this transformation embodies all that in a way. The way you feel with yourself, the way you present yourself to the world and the way you also accept yourself. So um, yeah, I think there is those, all those dimensions in the transformation of uh, the character. The, the process um, with Matilda was kind of a, a one that I love is that basically it's the first actress I met when I started casting and it was a great meeting and there was this kind of love at first sight or anyway a very something very trustful a very she trusted me she loved the project there was this connection we stayed for maybe two hours it was in Los Angeles at that time speaking and there was very something happening and after I continued the casting pro a process and for many reasons we started to cast in Europe in different countries and finally I ended up choosing a girl from uh, another country and we start working and maybe two weeks before we started shooting when we just had started prep with the other actress she started to get scared from the part because it was becoming real you know and she quit the pro project maybe two weeks before before shooting so it was like okay <laughs> And I knew uh, the movie had to go on, I couldn't stop. So Matilda was the girl who came to me in my head right immediately, because what I remembered from her was this total trust. And I knew it was what I needed to go through the, the process. And also because the shooting was going to be very tense, very, very intense, very tiring. And I needed somebody who would be committed totally and like 200%. So I called her and basically the day after she was on the plane and we started rehearsal and it was great. And yeah, and I love the, I love the way all this happened in a way because yeah, I think it's very symbolical as well that elements that are meant to end up together and take different ways but happen in the end. Yeah, basically I think it's sometimes it's good not to have too much time to think and to go around stuff. We had to go to the essential very quick and this also helps to focus on what's important and not and really on the main decisions, on the main stuff that matters. And, and it also gave this kind of very uh, uh, concentrated energy that, okay, we had all the strength at the same time in a very short moment and we put everything in it. So every process is different, but this one, I think for the movie, it was good to be on the energy of the moment and to have yeah to have a little time to prep because we need it but to really go for it when it happened and i think this very um, short time of prep helped the energy of the of the movie yeah there are many um I'm a real uh, fan of genre film. I grew up with them and yeah, I, in a very wide uh, range from fantastic movie to sci-fi to horror to more Cronenberg style. I think what I loved and inspired me in those kind of movie is that it really takes you someplace else than everyday life and it really allows the imagination and the creativity to go very far and to create your own artistic space and 
I'm very, I was very inspired by directors like David Cronenberg, David Lynch, um, yeah, who or Paul Verhoeven, who managed to really create their own universe and their own world and transform the reality and make it their own and and yeah so I think all these influences uh, yeah are in me in a way I'm starting to write again on a new idea I have so but it's just very fresh because I just have a little bit more time now and I'm also starting to receive a few scripts from the US so I don't know I'll see what what's coming and I'll take some time to think to what I want to do next and and yes I I know anyway I need to have a project that is as strong for me as this one in the way I want to carry it so I think it would be the thing from Carpenter. Yeah. No eres mi tipo, ya está. Que no soy tu tipo.